Hello, and today we are doing chapter 14.1, question 24. So, I summarized the question a little. So, there's two point A and B, and there's people has to go from A to B, and there's two method. And the first one, which is the longer one, it's one, it's by bus, and two is a straight line, which is by train. And people choose to travel by train or by bus. It depends on the function of P1, P2, where P1 is the price of the bus and P2 is the price of the train. And the function of this one is actually the number of people who travel by bus. So this one is number of people travel by bus and where P1 is the price of the bus and P2 is the price of the train and now we have to um, interpret the DF instead of P1 and of P2 and what does this two means we know that we know that F P1 P2 equal the number of people travel by bus which means uh, df over p1 is the amount of people changes according to the changes of p1 and we know that p1 is the price of bus so this sign means people and this sign means the amount of people travel by bus decrease when P1 increases by 1. How do we know it's decrease? Because when P1 is the price of a bus, when the bus fare increases, people changes from travel by bus to train, which makes F P1 P2 decrease. So the amount of P1, F P1 P2, which is df decreases so uh, in the same theory uh, df over dp2 should be the amount the amount of people travel by bus increase when p2 increase by one when the price of train train ticket increases people switch from train to bus so f p1 p2 increases so this one is the sign is the is the partial derivatives of the given P one and P two.